This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. Today we continue laying the foundation with Book 1. In Chapter 5, this is Section 19. On following Christ, will the world hate me? Hi, David. Is it true that the world will hate me if I follow Christ? I would rather the world feel my peace. Is the first statement just a thought that is true only if I believe it? I think there is a passage in the Course that says something about me not having learnt my final lesson until everyone who thinks of me feels peace. I am struggling with feeling that I have been led by Christ only to find myself in disagreement with those around me. Please help me free my mind. Beloved one, it will seem as though persecution, accusation and attack are real, as long as the belief in private thoughts and private minds continues to be given faith. The belief that an idea in the mind of God could leave its source and enter a world of time and space and form, and that a wall of flesh could contain a private mind with thoughts of its own, all this springs from a belief which is erroneous. The role of the accuser will appear in many places and many forms and it will seem to be accusing you. But have no fear. It will go at last and leave you in peace. The recognition of ourself as Christ is the end of the concepts of leader and follower. For who is Christ but oneself? And with this recognition is attack seen as impossible. For oneness cannot attack or be attacked, being one. Divine mind is singular. Attack of any degree or kind is impossible in truth. Peace cannot enter a mind which perceives itself in a world of duality. God's peace transcends the personal perspective. It can truly be said that God is no respecter of persons. What you seem to see and encounter around you are doubt thoughts, which have not yet been raised to the light. Yet, seeing through the five senses is not to see with Christ vision. The images seem to hate you who follow Christ, yet they but witness to a belief in a tiny self. The images have all the meaning that the ego gave them, yet nothing of the ego has meaning. This is the turning point in which you allow the meaning of nothing I see means anything to dawn in awareness. This is the point of going within to the experience of there is no world. The idea presented in Lesson 132. This is the mysticism. The experience within the mind that cannot be explained or described. What is now at hand is the giving up of nothing for the experience of everything. There is nothing outside of you, Holy One of God. The finding Christ is seeing the impossibility of the search. The search was the sickness. The search was the confusion. Peace is its own reward, for cause and effect are together and never separate. 
one mind transcends the concept of parts. When healing, atonement is accepted. Gone is the concept of separate individual minds. That concept was the confusion, for it was the belief that attra- attack was real. It was the belief that mind could be splintered into many, many separate pieces. Peace and oneness are the same and cannot be found apart. Peace of mind is forgetting the concept of peace. The test of perfect peace to which you refer applies to our holy mind, beloved one. The interpretation I give you now is the experience of the peace of God includes everyone and everything for there is nothing outside the mind of God. What you recognize as yourself is true of all for Christ is all. Let the images recede from your awareness and rest in our Father's love. Peace can never be found in attempting to reconcile images with truth. Let them fade away in a prayer for the eternal. I am witnessing now that you are it, the whole of creation, for we are one self. The invitation that Christ be but itself remains the same. Again, let us look at Workbook Lesson 189. Simply do this. Be still and lay aside all thoughts of what you are and what God is. All concepts you have learned about the world, all images you hold about yourself, Empty your mind of everything it thinks is either true or false, or good or bad, of every thought it judges worthy, and all the ideas of which it is ashamed. Hold on to nothing. Do not bring with you one thought the past has taught, nor one belief you have learned before from anything. Forget this world. Forget this course and come with holy empty hands unto your God. Workbook Lesson 189 You are the gift of God forever. The end of doubt about ourself is the end of confusion.